what has been done all week long to educate um, people have been going in and out of the schools to help people understand what the process really is and then I think that um, families will know schools will know parents will know and I think that they will feel good about this decision and I even think that many of the protesters will continue but people will protest with joy in their hearts to learn that we have a state's attorney who understands that people do need answers and move swiftly uh, through the process and I, and I think she understood that this was a very volatile situation so from day one from April 12th on she proceeded with her investigation and I think that what we saw today was the results of that I believe that this is a model and again unfortunately for the Gray family and for Mr. Gray he becomes a model for injustice being served upon African Americans and other people of color and other people period in this country who have been unjustly served by, by police departments across this nation but I want to make it clear that that is no way any indictment upon, among all police officers because for the most part people know what to do when they're in, in our communities but there needs to be diversity and there needs to be psychological evaluations on a regular basis to see if people can continue in their community as police officers in the community to be sensitized to the needs and the issues of the community because as a woman said to me who is a social worker even I in my position become desensitized so we need to make sure that people are psychologically capable and have the capacity to do the job that they're uh, sworn to serve